So welcome to our Tuesday training. This is September 8th. And this is probably going to be one of my most exciting conversations because for, Will, what are we, has this been five years? Uh, let me check the date here when we started that. I think, I think we're going on like five years. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been there, yeah. So yeah. one yeah. of the things we, we get to talk about in the community is whoops I'm, i think i muted you unmute i'll do that there we go okay you're unmuted all right so i welcome to the root community this is your first time being here um, yes, we won't talk product names because we've been working with some stuff prior that are the siblings to what clean slate is, but we're going to go over process. And, you know, we, we talk about environmental exposure and from the beginning, because you have had a unique experience. So can you, can you share with, I'll, I'll hit on some stuff as we go, but can you hit on how you ended up in your position initially? And then what the, what the process has been for you. And then we'll, we'll talk through it. And I'm going to try not. Okay. To hmm. In the process of 2001, 2002, over about an eight month period, I got arsenic poisoned. And ended, and ended up getting real sick. And all the doctors ended up doing just giving me a bunch of steroid shots and sent me home. Well, that didn't, didn't do too much to me. And it kept getting worse and worse. And then finally in November 6th of 2007, I woke up 100% blind. Three weeks later, went deaf and then started losing weight like crazy. You could look at me every minute by minute and see me just shriveling up and got put in the hospital and ended up with um, CML leukemia. And the doctors ended up saying that leukemia was caused by a high arsenic poisoning. And they started me on the harsh chemo, finished that, and then I was on daily, still, still I'm on daily doses, morning and night of chemo pills. According to the doctors, I was, blood work was getting better, but physically I was just getting worse and worse. I lost everything in Colorado and had to move back with my mom here in East Texas, where we have the 100 degree temperatures in the summer and 70, 80% humidity a lot of days. I couldn't even walk outside for two minutes without getting sick. And I was just getting sicker and sicker physically, but the doctors say, oh, you're doing better and better. I was always hurting inside. I, I was... Everybody says, oh, just all you got to do is just, just, just fight. I to a point where I was hurting so bad, I couldn't even fight. All I could do was just try to survive. And a friend that my mom had on the internet or trying to make, help make money with got me in touch with Clayton. And Clayton said, here, let me let, me let you try this product and see if it'll, if it'll make a difference or not. Of course, other people had sent me all kinds of stuff through the years before I had met Clayton. Big horse pills, drink gallons of this and that. It seemed to be a difference. And then Clayton sent me a few bottles of this little liquid and taking just a couple drops a day, starting off. And I looked at my mom and said, you got to be kidding. All this other stuff I've done, this is going to make a difference? And then, and then I started taking it, thinking, okay, I'll, I'll just... Um, Clayton's been a nice helping me with this product. I'll just, I'll ease him and go ahead and take it. Well, after, after a week being on it, I didn't notice anything. And then started the second week and moved up a little bit and he had me start taking a high dosage of it. And then finally, all of a sudden, I, I started getting cramps like crazy and going to the bathroom every 45 minutes. And I could see my body cleaning out stuff. And then we were 
three, four months after I started this, I ended up half, we're going to go to a family reunion that at first we weren't going to go to. And then ended up where in that four month period, I felt so much better on it that I could even go outside for about a half hour and pick up sticks and just do a little yard work. I couldn't even do five minutes ahead of time. And then that family reunion is coming up and I thought, well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to work real hard to try to do enough cleanup. Cause every day I would get out there and do like two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. I didn't realize how long it had gotten. And then we had about a day and a half before the family reunion. I got outside in the early morning and said, okay, before the July heat hits, I'm going to get out there and do everything I can. I got to bed early the night before. I worked outside for almost four hours, came inside, just thought I was going to die. But to me, I was happy just being able to do four hours worth. Mom fixed me dinner because I couldn't even eat hardly fix anything. I was so tired. Took about a couple, an hour, hour and a half nap. Got up, looked at my mom and said, I feel like I'm good enough to go, go outside and work some more. And I haven't been able to do anything at this point in almost 10 years. Uh, so this product has really changed my life. So it's a couple questions because like you mentioned, and I'd love for you to touch on how you were arsenic poisoned. Um, but okay. you, you're not wearing glasses and you don't have anything in your ears to help you hear other than earbuds. So earbuds. Why is your vision better? Cleaning out the de detox, cleaning out. It's helping me. Get, I still have to have them to read close up, but. But you're not blind um, anymore. You, you were clinically I, um, I was a hundred percent. I was cl cl classified as clinically blind. Yes. I was, um, to be legally blind, you're at 2200. And my right eye, my left eye now, I'm at 2070. And my, that's my left eye. My right eye, I'm at, I'm still legally blind in my um, right eye, but my left eye, I am not. And when I first came down to the key, after a few months, they did eye surgery on me just for the aesthetics so I would not lose my eyeballs from what the leukemia caused but they have gotten a lot better. And, and the reason why, go ahead. No, keep going. And Clayton said, wanted me to talk on the, what happened with the arsenic poisoning. I got married and my ex ended up having a brain tumor. She went in and had surgery and they took the brain tumor out and she physically recovered, but mentally got real, got, got crazier. And she decided she wanted to commit suicide. So she was going to poison me with arsenic because she said I was too nice of a guy and she didn't want anybody else to have me, but she was going to commit suicide. So the course of about eight months, that's how I got the arsenic poisoning. And then one, one night she just mega dosed you. Right. And that, that mega, was the tipping point. Right. And that's when I got real sick and they realized what was going on ended up being an investigation. But since her parents, were millionaires they had the right lawyers that could, could fight and i didn't have that and so they ended up just putting her on seven years probation but then i got a lifetime of this well maybe not a lifetime if i stay on this product so it's been so we've yeah. gone five years now and i think one thing that you missed is you were also type one diabetic correct yes i i meant yes so I remember having um, conversations that your insulin levels changed a little bit, right? Your use of insulin has changed. Oh, I've, I'm taking a third of the insulin I used to take. And at the A1C is for the doctors, they say they can't believe that I'm a type one diabetic with, with what it is. It, it's usually under. Oh, hold on. I muted you. Hold on. You got to unmute. Okay. There we go. Usually my, the A1C is usually right around seven or slightly under seven. And for diabetics, they usually, seven is usually where they, 
try to keep it, and it's usually went below that. And I, I, I got so much more energy and strength. And at that time, I was also trying to go to the gym just to gain some strength because beforehand, I used to, I, I still own some of the records for the um, strongest guy in some of the gyms in Colorado because I was big into the weightlifting. Well, after all this happened, I was 206 pounds of solid muscle. And when the leukemia hit, I lost down to 86 pounds. I couldn't even walk on my own. I am now back up to about 155 pounds. Up until this virus started, I was working out in the gym. Like right now, I'm not. So I've lost some strength. But I couldn't hardly get any strength back at all. And then when I started taking this and it started cleaning me out, I started getting some pretty good strength back. So it made a big difference in that too. I and I just, and I text Clayton the other day and told him my allergies. Now I used to have big allergies, have to take Benadryl all the time. When I was a kid, if I ever got stung by a wasp, I mean, you had them rush me to the hospital. My allergies are non-existent. And I was helping work and building a little goat pen two weeks ago. And I got seven wasps or seven hornet stings on my, around my ankle. And I didn't have to go to the hospital once and didn't really do too much. I didn't really have any reaction except just slight swelling. Before I would have been to the hospital and probably spent a couple of days in there. What other, whatever notes do you have since, I mean, you, you're one of the examples. I talk about my experience for the last 15, 16 years, and, but everybody gets tired of listening to me. So with, with your experience, because every, everyone here that's, that's watching this live or that will be watching this has not had the opportunity to, to use Clean Slate for an extended period of time, more than a couple months right now. So for your, your experience, you'd uh, tell me about your mom, because this, this was one of the fun conversations that we had, right? Because after a month or so, of when we first started, we started to have conversations about what your improvements were. And then you asked about your mom, sure. she could use some. So talk, talk about her a little bit, what her issues were, and then what you guys have found for her. Back, my dad passed away in 2000. So back in, so right when she passed, he passed away, my mom was teaching school. And of course they tried to get everybody to take the flu shot. They've been brainwashed anyway. So, my mom thinking, oh, my dad's passed away. She's alone. Who's going to take care of her? Because I'm living in the mountains of Colorado. So she ended up taking a flu shot. She had a reaction to the flu shot that took almost, took over a year to recover. And with that, she came down with all the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, joint swelling, and skin lupus. But every time they did the blood work, it just, it wasn't there. It doesn't show that that's what it was, but she had the ball, the butterfly breakouts and joint swelling. And the only thing they could, then they finally correlated it to the flu shot. And she had constantly had problems with that. And as long as she's on this product, keeping her cleaned out, she could go out in the sun more than like 30 seconds without getting spots breaking out on her. And when Clayton said she could start taking some of the product, now all the, the, uh, the lupus butterflies on her skin have all gone away. She can go outside and, and do a little bit of work out in the heat and not have much problem. And the joints don't tend to affect her near like what they used to with that rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. Almost all of that's gone away. She only has a little bit of symptoms that show up if she spends too much time, like an hour, hour and a half outside. I think we all do, though. Yeah. <laughs> another to me one of the greatest of the testimonies of what it did for me is we have a about two and a half acres out in the back pasture and when i first got sick in colorado and lost everything had to come back here my mom had to sell the tractor so we could even eat to live for a little bit and um so that back pasture had gone almost 10 12 years without even mowing it well here in east texas when you get 100, 110 inches of rain in the first se year, first of the season and then the humidity, it grows like a jungle. I knew a couple of people that one of them had a 44 horsepower tractor and a 65 horsepower tractor 
and they bush hog for a living and they would not take the field down. They wouldn't do it. They said, it's too overgrown. You're going to have to get it on bulldozed. Well, and an old guy in the church heard about it and he gave me his DR brush trimmer, 15 horsepower off behind bush hog. And I manually took down that field. Now, I didn't do it on one or two days. I'd get out there and work for an hour, hour and a half every day over the course of a good month, month and a half, and I took it all down. When I look out that back pasture, I think there's no way I could have done that without this product because I couldn't even walk outside and carry 20 pounds. And then I manhandled that DR brush trimmer and took down the whole pasture. Now I can use the zero turn and just maintain it like it's nothing. I got to take a second because I can't get this grin off my face because I've, you know, <laughs> as, as you know, we've waited, yeah. we've waited to do yeah. this for a long time. So, uh, cause I, I wanted to get this yes. story, but, um, yeah. you know, for, for everybody that's here, what else, what else would you, would you say? And I'm going to let you go cause I'm going to rant about, uh, about this for a little bit for everybody else. What else would you, would you give for insight or if, if someone would say, Hey, I, I'm thinking about trying this. Would you recommend it? <laughs> oh, completely. I was, I was hurting and doing so bad that I would say I don't, I would never have committed suicide, but I was doing so bad. that I really did not even have the will to live. I was hurting so bad and starting taking this product relieved all that pain and pressure inside I could at times I could feel my organs vibrating and, and and spasming, and I don't feel that anymore. I don't hurt inside anymore. I have energy. I want to get up and do things. It's not no pun intended willpower making me do it. It's because I want to do it. I feel. I mean, I can't even like I told Clay, I've told Clayton before. I can't imagine feeling better. And Clayton says, "You're not even there yet." And then the next time I talk to him, I'm like. I do. I feel better. And he's like, you're not even there yet. I can't imagine. It's just, it's just incredible to me. The difference has made my life. Um, I've got a handwritten testimony by a lady friend that works where I or used to work where I work now. She, um, when I first started working, I, I was yellow jaundice looking because all the chemo and it's building up in my liver and stuff, causing all kinds of problems. And I don't have that anymore. Not, none of the John dish. I can actually go out and get a suntan anymore when they say it's almost impossible and I'm still taking chemo. I don't get sunburn really anymore. My body will respond and get a little tan. Uh, it's, so it's, it's nice to be healthy again or can, on your way on back. the verge to be on yep. the way back yes it's it's the journey you know and it's uh it's like we talked about it, you know and here's here's the fun part for everybody that else is here right because i i'm from the seattle area will and i were introduced when i first moved to nashville about five and a half years ago will's in texarkana texas not arkansas he's on the good side of the border that's right but there was there was never a point in my life where I imagined that I was going to be in Texarkana, Texas, but I was making a drive from Nashville to Dallas and guess where I happened to have to drive through mm -hmm. and to be able to sit down with Will and his mom and talk about what he had endured and what I think what's even more more important what his mom endured to watch her son have to go through what you were going through um but then also to watch your recovery because i remember talking with your mom she's like he can't be working that hard he's going to get sick again and it was just better 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 and it, it's continued so um no, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you take a break. I'll put you on mute. You can hang out if you want, but thank you. I think everybody here, you know, it's a it's one of the few times that there's not a lot of comments. Everybody's just sitting here going, "Wow, 